Hello from S. Hertogenbosch here in the Netherlands. Rest in peace pronunciation. I have found what looks like to be places where we can get some street food. In these times, it's very difficult and most places are closed. However, takeaway is an option and that's basically what street food is. So we're going to go over here. Oh, it looks like he's busy now selling some stuff, but it looks like the specialty here is seafood. And well, we have the raw herring, which I tried in Rotterdam. However, there has to be something else that I can try over here. Have a look at this. Looks like a smoked eel. I would recommend you this sauce. Alright, I'll try that sauce. So I ordered the the Kimberling is called? Kimberling? Kimberling. Kimberling. And it's what is it? It's basically like fried, fried fish. Fried cod pieces. But what makes it unique? What makes it unique? Um, well, it used to be uh, back in the day, like I have to package it by the way because of Corona measurements. I understand, I'll take it somewhere so over there. It'll be like a takeout fish shop now. Yeah, we have the takeout, exactly. We have the takeout. Um, so back in the day, it used to be that the fish was caught, was filleted and everything else. And what was left was cut up into small pieces uh -huh. and fried off and sold as kibbeling. And that's what basically this is? This is what this is. This is what, what this started as. Okay, that's what it started at, and now, and now it's, it's a separate product on its own. Right. And what's the like? What do you use to to prepare? It's like a secret batter yes. type of thing. All right, it's a secret. All right, a guys, it's a secret. Batter. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. Thank you. How much owe you? Nothing, man. It's on me. For real? For real. Oh man. All right. Thank you so much, brother. Take care. Be safe. Thank you, man. Yeah. All so right. Let me know how it was. I will. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. How about a touch of local Dutch hospitality here? gonna go ahead and find a spot where I can where I can food vlog this I found a perfect spot so check it out they've been doing this since 1953 here oh and this is what I ordered right here the kibbling mama mag ik kibbling I think mama's universal and I don't know maybe this is like mom I want some kibbling anyway we're gonna go over here and give this a try. I'm gonna take you guys right over there because I can put my camera and we can have a food vlog. Street food style. Here in S. Hertogenbosch, Netherlands. Check out the seagulls. So there's like some people here who are doing what I'm doing and they're waiting for some scraps. All right. Keep my napkin here. Do, 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 do. I'm excited to do a food vlog. I really, really, really am. And this stuff looks phenomenal, guys. It smells delicious. It's a secret. Let me put this in my back pocket. No littering. It's a secret batter, which makes a difference. He put his sauce there. I think he had like three or four options. First, we're gonna try this without any sauce. Mmm. Oh man. This is tasty. And it's all in the batter. It's pieces of cod, but the batter make it go. It's like, think of this as the, the brother or the sister of the fish and chips over in England. But Netherlands style with the secret batter. Now let's try it with the sauce. All right, have a look at this. It's a very thick sauce. Almost as thick as blue cheese back in the States. Just to give you an example of the thickness of it, the thick viscosity. Now let's try it. Mm. Oh man. It's like a mayonnaise. But it's not mayonnaise. It has a lot more taste in there. Maybe like a garlic mayo with a whole bunch of other things in here. Oh man, this sauce makes this even tastier. And I like the fork. Check it out. It has like a saw here on the end. You can easily cut up a piece. Oop. Kind of difficult to do with one hand, but you kind of cut the piece like that. And you have nice little small sized 
bites. Oh man, but this sauce. I, I'm a sauce guy, I love sauce. Let's try another piece now without any sauce because I'm dipping all of them in sauce because it's so delicious. But this alone by itself was delicious, just like that. Mm. Now I don't know, I'm gonna divide. I'm gonna have two with sauce and this last one without sauce. Because I really, I love sauce, so I prefer with the sauce. However, I like to admire the taste of it on its own because that batter deserves some recognition. All done. Hey, my friend, that was delicious. Yeah, wow. It will give any fish and ship a run for his money. Thank that was so super much. tasty, thank man. So much, man. No, thank you so much. That was delicious. Final thoughts on the cabelling. Man, that was tasty. Now for a rating, I'm going to give them a 9.5, guys. That was some delicious. All about the batter. You can get caught anywhere. You can fry fish anywhere. But that batter was top class along with the sauce. The sauce was a game changer that elevated it to another level. That was something delicious. Guys, this is gonna be next on the menu. It is the Lekabek. <laughs> Did I say it right? This, this, yes, this, right. This, uh, just the same, it's kibbling. Kibbling similar yeah. to it? No, similar to it. Yes. Similar? It's, it's also white fish. Yeah. Kibbling small pieces of fried white fish. And right. this, is, this is the whole thing. Uh, There's like the, the whole, whole thing. This is, this is the, 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 the whole fish in little pieces. All right, we're gonna try the whole fish version of it, the Lekebeck, and give it a go. They just put it there and I'm guessing they have a secret batter and then yes. they deep fry it and voila. I have my Lekebeck in here and we're gonna go back to the old eating grounds. Well, restaurants and cafes are closed, but who needs that when you can have street food on top of a well. Don't mind if I do. I have to try out this Lekebeck. Have a look at the presentation. Let's open up the bag. All right, have a look. They sprinkled some herby mix on top now you guys saw how skinny the fish was but look how it is when it comes out fried nice crispy and you recommended this sauce to go with it let's try it. you know what i think we need a kind of a thumbnail maybe let's give it a taste This is delicious. It's almost similar to the cabelling except it's like the whole fish. However, their batter is slightly different than I think was giving it that, hello, and was giving it that extra flavor that I'm getting is the herbs that he sprinkled on top of it, as well as some salt, which never hurts. Now we're going in for the sauce. Seems similar to the sauce that I had the cabellum with. Seems to be the Dutch go-to sauce for some seafood. Mm. You need to eat it with the sauce, 100%. I even recommend the sauce almost on its own, it's that good. It's very close to a tartar sauce, but some differences there in the taste. Rating for this guy. It was delicious. The sauce was very good. I'm going to give it a 9. Very, very tasty and delicious. A well done batter. Just a really great fish overall. And the price was $3.50 for that big piece of fish, sauce included. And I believe for the Cabellin, it was $4.50, even though the gentleman didn't let me pay. Just to give you guys the pricing. Oh man, let me go tell him how good it was and we'll be on our way. Hey brother, that was delicious, man. Yeah, thank you. Very, so very much. tasty and with the sauce, delicious. Sauce perfect, right? What is in that sauce, man? Coffee Colt. Coffee Colt? 
Gra? With the R? Huh. Ravigo. Ravigo, that's the name of it. Yeah. And what is in it exactly? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's like a tartar yeah. sauce. It's like a tartar sauce, that's what I thought. But is there any yeah. difference between star tartar sauce and this yeah, one? Yeah, there's a little difference. There, there was a bit of a difference the there. Yeah. This is the Dutch version, all right. Gotcha, all right. Well, that was very delicious. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you very much. Bye. Right. Oh, man. The people here are spoiled with the fried fish food. The fried, sea, the fried seafood, I'm terrible. My tour is not complete. I was about to finish, however, the last time I tried the herring was inside a market in Rotterdam. And I really get the feel here. There's three of these food trucks around and they're all selling fish food. So I got the feeling that they take their fish food here very seriously. So I think we're gonna go in for another round of the herring. We're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see if it's a little bit different than what I had in Rotterdam or not. I mean, I think it should be the same thing. It's a raw fish. I don't think it's raw anymore. I read something about they preserve it with salt and whatnot. Yeah, just like that, just like the picture. We're gonna do the herring test here. I have confirmed that it's different. My friend here confirmed that the herring here is a lot different than the one I had in Rotterdam. Something about spices or something like that. We're gonna put that to the test when we try this herring. Check out the herring. There it goes. Is there anything unique that you guys do to it here or is it typical just a raw herring? It's just a freshly freshly cleaned herring. That's it. Fresh nature does the rest. That's it. In the preserving process after after catching. So. Alrighty. It's all nature baby. Alright guys. Let's try out the raw herring here and that's her togenbosch. Sher togenbosch. Have a look. Purely raw, like it just came out of the ocean. <laughs> Slippery as can be. <laughs> Have a look at it. How does it taste? And it's delicious. Like it's like sushi. Yeah. My opinion doesn't change. I don't like sushi. I it's think like it's sushi. better. So I don't like sushi either. I don't like. I'm not a fan of cold food. But overall, it's not bad. It might not look very appetizing, like that to be honest, but if you ignore that and just put the fish in your mouth, yeah. you immediately realize, hey, this is good. If somebody was to put this in a, a fancy looking salad in a restaurant, I'm sure everybody would be like, oh my God, it's delicious. He's out. Huh? He went out. No, no. Oh, yeah, it's just a screen. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. If it's going to turn off, it's all right. Oh, I'm sorry. We're all good, brother. Um, yeah, yeah no, that's it. That's going to wrap things up. But one more piece of information that I just learned from the gentleman over here, very knowledgeable with his food, is that is a misconception with foreigners and even Dutch people that the herring is not really raw. There is a process when they catch it, they gut the fish, they add salt to it, and they freeze it two times and there's a period when the from the time it's frozen to the time it thaws out that with the salt the fish kind of cooks himself in a ceviche kind of way like some Peruvian ceviche and well the herring is really not raw like we all think but it's a it's a cool concept that to think oh it's a raw herring let me do the picture and why not you should definitely do it anyway that's it guys from Sertogenbosch Pretty sure this place is very lively without the lockdown procedures. But yeah, that's it. Let's, let's stay positive on this video. We tried some delicious food. It was delicious. Everything was tasty. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.